It's a story of a man named Freddy who was all alone. Left this group, but somehow form a family. That's the way we all became the Brady Bunch. The Brady Bunch. The Brady Bunch. That's the way we became the Brady Bunch. Thank you for that warm welcome. Always appreciate it. Well, today I have a little video for you all to show you what a Pratt Mysterio mystery is. Ooh, that's real heavy when we start getting into how he fakes his analysis and all that other stuff. But I'd just like to show you before we get into that here, this here dinosaur right over there. Now, they could just point out a few things here, see? Now NASA went and they put another photo of another dinosaur in here. See this here now? Oh, but I call that there a water beast. Oh, that's a water beast there, friends, eh? And not only that, but you can see, you see that right there, eh? Well, that's the water beast's pal on the other side. And that's the water beast's pal's arm. Oh, it certainly is. And this one here, you see this water beast here? Well, that's his arm right there. You see, that's his arm. And this is his tail right over here. You see, now that's this water beast's tail. Now, I'd like to see how Mysterial Mystery is going to explain this one away. <laughs> Dear God. Well, anyways, let's just get on with it. I have a special speaker for you all today, and his name is Expat Taffy. So take it away, Expat Taffy. Mysterio Mystery is such a prat, he hasn't got the brains of a domestic cat. And it was in this video here that I displayed my earlier analyzing of these two photos with this astronaut and the hedgehog. You can watch that, I leave the link in the pre-report. Now folks, here's the photo in question that we're going to be dealing with. And as you can see here, it's been photoshopped with Photoshop 3, which was not introduced into America until 2007. So here you are folks, here's the first thing that drew my attention to this photo. What I call an eye catcher. A rock and a shadow that's got an eye with a black pupil that looks very familiar to a hedgehog. That's what I call an eye catcher. The whistleblowers putting in something telling us, hey, take a look at this photo. We faked it. And there's a lot more coming up folks. Now, in that video of mine, the brilliant expat Taffy gave you some expert advice on how to spot fake photos. I told you my method was, do not concentrate on one photo alone. My brilliant technique is to take a photo like this, go to the photo previous, and go to the photo taken after. Always examine three photos. If you ask me, I think this is a pretty good picture of a hedgehog, eh? Oh, right over there. Now that's what you call a hedgehog. Now you come over here and you take a look at this dude over here, right? Now you can even see the little spikies up there right on the top, eh? Ew, wow, NASA's artist really did a good job with this one now, didn't they, friends? <laughs> Oh, it just keeps getting better now, doesn't it? There. And if you look over here, you see this what they done there? That little tassel there? Oh, that's the little hedgehog's hat that the NASA people's put on there. And that's the tassel that this hedgehog is wearing, eh? Whoa, NASA don't leave anything out now, do they, their friends? <laughs> NASA must be lying too because if you look at the nose here, it's growing and growing. <laughs> oh my dear God. Okay, so let's get on with 
part two. So, roll part two, please. AS 17-145-22138. Now, what we've got you is a photo of the land. That spot of land. But it hasn't got the rake, and it hasn't got the astronaut. It's exactly the same spot, only a little bit rotated one way. Like as if it's not taken from the correct, the same angle as the others. Now, this photo contains quite a few very important whistleblowers' clues, folks. And that means if this photo is fake, then as I told you in the previous video, the other two photos with the astronauts in are fake. As you will see now. Okay, here is that photo, 22138. What I'm trying to do here for you is identify all the rocks. Now, the two oval rings, as you can see there, in yellow, was where, or will be where, the astronaut's boots will be. That will be his standing position. Now, the long arrow, where I mark scoop, is the line where the scoop will eventually be. And on the left, the arrow there marked X. That's pointing to a certain rock. A peculiar shaped rock that seems to have a curved front on it. Okay. Now, the rock I've got marked A. You'll find out that is the rock that they used to make the hedgehog. And the arrow I've got marked B here. Look at that small rock there. It's very, very important. From here it looks like a shape of Australia, doesn't it? But you will be surprised the evidence in that of fakery. Now, what I've done here now to make sure there's no doubts about this being the same area. The top section is 138 before the astronaut got there. And the bottom section is 139 where the astronaut is standing there. It's got some very, very important clues here. One thing about that black shadow, it's not the same shape as it was with the hedgehog. Another thing, it's permanently black. It won't brighten up and reveal any detail of the soil below. And if you look where I've got it ringed in red, we've got a whistleblower's clue. A white eyeball with a black pupil. And it's looking, uh, not horizontally black, uh, back, but it's looking 45 degrees down back. And what is it looking at? It's looking at where I've got a ring around the end of the rock, the bottom. And it's also looking at the other rock that I said looked like Australia. Now, have you noticed anything in that rock at the moment? Well, we'll test your perception in a couple of photos coming up. So, Mysterio Mystery, now you're getting an education on how these things are put together now, aren't you there, eh? Oh, look at this arrow up there, eh? Now, that's my tough. He's been real kind to put all these arrows and this arrow down there and this arrow down here and this arrow over on this side. Oh, but I can't forget this arrow up there. And that makes six arrows, doesn't it there, eh? Oh, it certainly does. Not only that, but then after you put them all together, guess what you get? You get this here hedgehog. And not only a hedgehog, but one that's been, oh, just like all these your friends, oh, this here hedgehog's been lying. You know how I can tell this hedgehog's been lying? Ooh, because his nose is growing larger every minute. <laughs> Oh, 
Nas is putting out onto the internet. What do you think? That's good old this week to see part three coming right up. So let's roll out. Without further ado, here next by time you take it away, part three. Now, with the top photo here, they didn't want the impression of a hedgehog anymore, really, at the back end. They've covered the scoop over to hide the spiking effect. And they've inserted that white eye. Look, you've got a white patch and a black pupil. And where is it looking? It's looking at the boot. To tell you, the boot doesn't correspond to the magazine number. So there you are, folks. Look what you've had so far with that mentally insane mystery. You've had a lie about three minutes between the photos. You've had a lie about the foot being moved backwards instead of forwards. And you've had a lie about they had three minutes to cover the scoop over. When going on his analysis, the photo he claims was taken first the scoop was already covered over. <laughs> There's a typical example of NASA mentally insane psychopaths, folks. And watch for the next video coming up by this nutter. In the meantime, a couple of photos here to see if we can entice him to try and explain the anomalies in this photo and the next one. There you are. What all of you claim is the ultimate evidence they landed on the moon. The laser reflectors. And there you are. You've got a laser reflector here, right by this lamp. But, look at the sky when it's brightened up two full settings. You've got a woven crisscross pattern curtain. And what would this one be? Mystery? New York on the moon, I suppose, is it? <laughs> Thank you, Expat Taffy, for that fine comment all the way through the video. And I've got a something else for you to show you quick here before we get going. But, ooh, you second, second here, friends, wait till you see this one. Oh, look at this. See, way up there. Here you go. See the NASA engineers? They've been playing Tetris. <laughs> on the moon. What will they think of next, eh? Boy, it looks like a 1975 game of Tetris going on up there, doesn't it, friends, eh? Or the other people, oh, you know what they'll say this is, eh? Oh, they'll say that this is a city on the moon. <laughs> well, I suppose if you can have cities on Mars, you can have cities on the moon, too. <laughs> that, but they say because they have these reflectors, so-called reflectors, uh, they can bounce laser beams all over the place and tell you that the moon is so many thousands of miles away. Well, this laser reflector's nothing but a fake. It doesn't even exist. <laughs> No, no, neither does that lem up there, by the way. That's the same lem that was on the sound stage, right? That was sitting actually on the dude's desk there, eh? Well, when we showed you. And that lem was just sitting right in the coffee shop in NASA's own building. <laughs> take care out there and the ones that keep giving us viruses I would like to just make mention of because you guys think that by giving us viruses that we're gonna be off of YouTube well I got some news for you there pals it ain't gonna happen that's for a fact Jack so get used to it all right oh my dear God here okay that's my spiel for today mr. strange out